Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Old video for you today. It is Tuesday, and we're going to start following Kathy to see what's old for us today. Hey, friends. Let's start on the top shelf over here. Sold some keen boots. They only list, were listed for a day and sold some. Definitely a good pickup. These I picked up for $12.99 just, I think, last weekend. Um, and sold them for $49.95 plus shipping. So very awesome sale. Very awesome. So these are just over two pounds. Not I just, I haven't decided where how I'm packaging them, but yeah. Um, let's see, I would normally put them in this box, but not that one, this one. But it might make it go over. And if so, I'd probably just have to bubble wrap and then put them in a large poly. Oops. Oops. Yeah, we're good, I think. So it's at 212 with the box, and then that should leave room for any paper. All that fill. Yeah. So, cool. They fit well in there. Yeah. And if we absolutely need to, we could cut down the height of yeah. the box a little bit or cut some tabs. Cutting tabs takes off yeah. like half a pound. Not a pound, half an ounce. Half an ounce, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, awesome to see all the yeah. free look out for Keen Boots always. Hey, Reese. Yeah, Reese down here in his bed. Getting ready for the snowstorm. He, he ain't gonna be doing anything different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I sold these Hannah Anderson. They're uh, Dr. Seuss Horton PJs. These were my sons. I probably paid around 20 for them and I sold them for 22 24 plus shipping and he did wear them quite a bit. So happy with that. Those and a poly. That's his sweet dreams because he's gonna have sweet dreams in them because they're pajamas. <laughs> All You're <right>. so thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, DF. This is a Hurley uh, boys button down, also my son's old shirt. Again, don't remember where I bought it, but sold it for $10 plus shipping. Please. Where are you going? <laughs> Was I too loud or something? Oh, he's got a stretch. Oh, stretch. <laughs> All right, that is just gonna go on the mailer. Okay, CD. <laughs> he's trying to get those tummy I'm rubs. I'm sure over. I have a DJ. You better not go. <laughs> it's like he knows. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> he's like, fine. I'm gonna go downstairs. Oh. Just kidding. But I don't want to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> Reese, you can do whatever you want, Bubba. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. This is your best option. Good choice. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> so funny. All right, these are Mephisto, although they said Mephisto by, like, all rounder by Mephisto, so I don't know if that's, like, a lower end line of Mephisto, but I grabbed them regardless, and I bought them for $10.99, sold them for $35.95 plus shipping. So very happy with that. Those were shipping in a padded flat rate. Right? Okay, BJ, Carhartt Carpenter Jeans. Okay. These are Carhartt Carpenter Jeans. I bought these for $5, sold them for $26.95 plus shipping. Also going out in a had a flat rate. Okay, box S. This is probably about as bread and butter as you can get. <laughs> Unless we start selling bread and butter, right? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> These are just Morona, so just from Target. I don't even know if they still sell Morona. I think they do. Just some pajama pants, two pairs. I only bought these at Goodwill because they were half off, so they were two bucks each. So I paid $4 for both, sold them for 24 plus shipping. I'm definitely not telling y'all to run out and grab Morona, <laughs> but just things like this, like I was already at Goodwill, I already had a cart full of other stuff. Why not throw this in there as well? You said those were new with tag as well. Yeah, that's the only reason. Yeah, yeah. And they were two with the same size. If it was just one, I probably wouldn't have because that would have only sold maybe 10 to 15. Gotcha. But two together, I knew I could get a higher sale price, mm -hmm. one listing, one shipping. So yeah, I mean, $4 and then 24 after fees, it's probably about a 16 or so dollar profit. Yeah, pretty good for just yeah. adding on top so, of your already thrift yeah. haul. This 
see a little coffee spot right here. It's uh, on the table. It's not wet. Don't worry. It's just not getting on stuff. It's just I need to wipe it off. It's gonna bug me. I get bugged very easily by things like that. Uh, all right, that'll just a little bit larger poly for that. And yeah, those together were only about 14 ounces. So awesome Sweet. bread and butter sale. All right, BF. Another pair of Carhartt jeans. Ones are flannel lined. So these I paid up for. Well, I averaged my cost of goods this day and it came out to 11.18. So kind of a lot for a pair of jeans, but they sold for 30 on Posh. So buyer also paid shipping. I'm more than doubling my money. With Carhartt jeans, that's pretty much fine. Like I pretty much always pick them up because they sell fairly quickly. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely did think I could have got closer to 40, but had an offer and I took it. Um, and I will ship those in a regional B box. All right, CF. This is a viewer sale. These are those Nike Capri, like women's, just like a lounge athletic pant. I paid $3 for these, and then our viewer Amy bought them on Poshmark for $22 with discount shipping. So thank you so much, Amy. She was also hoping for the other pair we had, but those already sold. We yeah. were kind of behind on videos. Well, by the time you see this video, <laughs> those videos would have went up. But yeah. a lot of stuff sold that people were asking for, including I think like four people have asked me for the cookie pillow, and that sold like the first day yeah. that it yeah. sold. I was gonna do a haul this week, but I did it because I was just so nervous about like, well, I can't get the stuff up fast. Yeah, so. it's gonna be a while before we get that stuff listed. Yeah. Just cause we've been trying to get ahead of the ball on yeah. our listings. <laughs> so we are trying to prepare our listings of what, Sunday, Monday yeah. of the week so that we have that stuff to list throughout the week. Yep. So we're like at least a week behind. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, we're ahead really, if yeah. you really think about it, so. So. The next time I do any sort of haul, I hope to have listed it before we put the haul live. That way you guys can just go buy it if you see something you want. Yeah. The best way to get what you want is just to be on our stores 24-7 <laughs> and yeah. just keep Don't looking at leave. them. Don't do a single other thing in your life. <laughs> Although that would probably mess up our metrics, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> All kinds of views and no buys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think you can follow an eBay store and when they post new items, you probably mm. get an email, but otherwise... Yeah, right now we're only doing 15 a day. So like when we show you a whole haul of like 100 things, yeah, that's a whole a week's week. worth. So yeah. yeah, and I've been scheduling them out each morning. So like, mm -hmm. like right now today, I've already scheduled tomorrow's 15. So if let's say somebody asked for something, it definitely wouldn't be going out tomorrow unless it was already right. one of the 15. So at that point, it would already be like two more days. Yeah. So it's hard to, yeah. The whole point of it is we're trying to like get in a rhythm. So to yeah. like add, do extra listings or something like that is hard. So mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> All right. This is a Columbia PFG men's just um, graphic tee. It's actually pretty funny. It says angler management. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking that about. Cute. Yeah, I picked that up retail arbitrage for five. I got an offer for 15 on Posh, which means I make 12 after the fee. So not a huge profit, but I did have multiples of them. So at $7 profit a few times, and yeah. I still think that's worth it. Again, that's not the only thing I bought that day. I had a <laughs> cart full of stuff, so. Did you have any of those in my size? I, I, I like do not that. have no. your size. Darn. <laughs> no, I like that. It's like a mint green color too. Yeah, it's funny because I, I don't think I've been fishing in probably <laughs> 10 years so i don't know because of me because <laughs> i don't want to go <laughs> so, i do like fishing i just yeah i haven't been fishing in a long time yep that grown-up life is kind of lame <laughs> well we do live in colorado and while there is a lot of good fishing locations we don't live near any of them That's so true. it's like a two-hour drive if you want to do a real good fishing trip so yeah we just don't really get out to do that much i don't want to do anything the kids are getting older you know i always said as the kids get older i take them but they're still five and seven you know they're not quite old enough for a yeah um you know a, a couple hours long fishing trip so they'll be asking for their ipad in the first 30 seconds this has to be this I'll double room. check it. Okay. It's the only like denim you looking thing in there, but these are some Dickies overalls, new a tag. I did pay up for these at $18.99, but I had previously 
like the day before I sold the day before I found these I had sold a pre-owned pair for like 40 something dollars so I I did not want to spend $18.99 at Goodwill but mm -hmm. I did and I ended up taking a $50 off on them so making 40 about doubling my money okay. which is fine um yeah I don't know I mean obviously I would not do that every day but mm -hmm. had just having sold them the sell through being high and everything I was like I think it's worth it so yeah I'm glad I grabbed them so, and yeah. so that's <laughs> what's sold so far today yeah and that was posh I'll do a regional B okay yeah oh yeah going in a regional B so we'll go ahead and get the stuff all packed up you gonna help us no okay and then we'll <laughs> probably check back in with you guys all right, guys, got it all packed up. Thanks to Reese <laughs> managing us. <laughs> but got it all packed up, ready to go. We're a little bit ahead of the game today. We don't have to rush out the door, so that feels nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are trying to get our shipping done more in the mornings, but it hasn't worked out that way so far nope. the past couple weeks. But Yep, we have a sick kiddo home today, and we yeah. just got a text that tomorrow is a, a snow, snow day. Because, <laughs> yep. you know, we have a lot of snow. Tomorrow's a snow day. Can you believe it? It is it's probably I mean, about we, 60 there degrees is a right lot now. of snow in the <laughs> forecast, but I just don't get how they're going to call yeah. it like, right now. I mean, I guess it's nice to know this far ahead, but right. also not. Because <laughs> now <laughs> our whole day is, at least they don't have to do like at home school. E learning, yeah. E yeah, learning. I yeah, know. that was something it's that. It's really hard to do like managing everything around the house when they do that. But if mm -hmm. it's a legit snow day, we can probably go take them sledding. Well, actually, we have a sick kid, so probably yeah. not. Maybe take the non sick kid sledding <laughs> and one of us. Leave the sick kid home and we'll, we'll go have fun without him. Yeah. No, just <laughs> he's just so. got a, he's just a little tired today, so no big deal. Um, but yeah, Kathy, we were just going to show the number maybe real quick because it is. It is now February 1st, the day that we're recording this video. Yep, got our final and Since Kathy keeps up with all of our <laughs> sales on a day-by-day -day basis, we know our numbers for January. Yeah. Um, so, I will say this has been, I think, the best month. Um, our best month both to date. and net. Okay. I know last March was really good, like when everyone got their like stimulus payments and yeah. stuff. I think it was, it was probably around the same gross and close to the same net. So this is the gross sales, 13524 Um We sold 399 items. That's the average sales price. Again, these are before you take out right. anything, including shipping, fees, everything like that. Yeah. Um, this does include things that we sold for our kids, as though. So it kind of brings down, you know, when we're breaking even on their stuff. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. So... When I've done my numbers videos in the past, I broke down the shipping and stuff. This doesn't, we'd have to do some different things to show Yeah, that, we right? can pull it all out. It's just different. Yeah. So it's the dashboard like wanna, is just a quick. I wanted to show kind of like, so here's the net number, um, net profit 6638. I say I'm usually right about 50%. Yeah. That's about $100 less than 50% of the gross. Yeah. I always feel yeah. like I'm getting those two numbers backwards. But yeah, so, but again, I wanted to like show what we're getting back in cost of goods because not only is that cost of goods, but since we're selling our kids' stuff, mm -hmm. yes, it's not profit, but I have probably several hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars back mm -hmm. in my bank to either buy them new stuff or just add to our business fund to buy more cost of goods to sell in the future. But yep. yeah. We so. do sit at a pretty sweet spot of basically spending what we get in yeah. to, to, to get our new inventory. Right. So we're not... We don't really look at it as reinvesting, even though it is. <laughs> so we're at a point where we just have a floating account, and that's just what we spend every month. And yeah, like for example, last week when we did our big haul video, we showed what a hundred or so items. Yeah. Um, we had spent I think around nine hundred dollars just mm -hmm. on all the stuff that we were going to be listing that week. And then when I had looked back at the previous week to see how much I collected back on cost of goods, it was around twelve hundred. So. Yeah. I didn't even Some, spend yeah. all of what I had at the time that mm -hmm. I could have, but so that Some just, weeks we do. So, yeah. you know, it's just, a, it just kind of rolls Some weeks, it. like this week, I haven't got to thrift much yet. And now, still yeah. day, like, I'm probably not going to be thrifting at all this week. So some weeks I spend nothing. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it kind of all works out like that. But I'm pretty happy with 66. Obviously, that's not... So I want... Our goal this year is 100K net. Um, that's about 8,300 per month. Right. Um, so I yeah. am behind so far <laughs> but definitely mm -hmm. can catch up yeah so 
February is a short month, so I imagine that gross and that will be a little lower, maybe maybe around the same because we'll have been so consistent for mm -hmm. a while at that point. Right. But yeah, like the things we're selling now, yes, some of them are newly listed items, but generally you, once you start doing the same thing over and over, you'll start seeing that growth like a month or two down mm -hmm. the line. So mm -hmm. I'm expecting again, March, obviously March, April are always great because people get tax money and stuff in general. Yeah, but yeah. I'm expecting those to be the months where we start really seeing what the work we're doing now. Right. The consistency off, so. is going to pay off yeah. in the future. And so. then, you know, by then we'll be doing better and maybe even listing more per day. Yeah, and then we'll see that a little bit further down the line. <laughs> trying to decide. I definitely want to bump up to 20 at some point this year. I just don't know when because, like I said, we want to take a spring break trip. Yeah. Basically, we want to make 100K now. We don't need to. Right. And we're not going to pressure ourselves. We're not going to work mm -hmm. day and night just to do it. But, um, yeah, right now our goal is having a draft bank for spring break, which is, I think, earlier mid-March, um, mm -hmm. which right now that's just photographing an extra five per day. Mm -hmm. By the time it's spring break, I'll have an extra 105 for that week. Yep. Um, and then after that, summer is a couple months after that. So just getting another draft bank for then so we can do a couple of probably trips with the kids. Yeah. Um, and then the next year, our school starts super early, like August 2nd yeah. usually. <laughs> so maybe starting in August. And then that's kind of when fourth quarter of the next year is going to come. So mm -hmm. maybe then bumping it up to 20 or 25 a day, which if we can really do 15 a day, <laughs> like right now, we've already been, it's actually been super easy to do 15. Yeah. So I know we can do 20 to 25. Mm -hmm. um, today I've pulled out these 25 pairs, yeah. which are what we're going to, well, Chris has been taking the numbers off, but he's got to get a video edited today. So I'm going to just do it myself because I'm ahead. I've actually, <laughs> well, look at that board really quick. You can yeah. see. She's already got, it's the first. Yeah. Here, I'll let you get <laughs> so, step over Reese. Just, just be careful. <laughs> so much for being <laughs> we're so early today. Right. No, <laughs> yeah. So the first, so I scheduled the 15 listings for today. Last night, we, I was watching live listing with Joe. Drew and Drew, <laughs> Drew. Oh my gosh, oh. <laughs> Drew and Joey's Monday Night Lives. I love to watch them. I get a lot of work done and just like to chat with people in the chat. So while they were on, I got my 15 scheduled for this morning. They went live, I think 7 a.m. our time or something like that. Um, anyway, so those were what I did today. And then the seven is just like personal items. So I did my 15, like these are thrifted items that yeah. I'm actually going to be making profit off of. These are things that our kids or ours that I expect to make money back or break even ish on. Yeah. So And so this is actually the first month where we're gonna start differentiating that. Yeah, I mean we've I still done a little bit extra it. last month, but we didn't like show you the difference between our fifteen and our personal items. So right. so you'll start seeing that as a separate number. Yeah, and then so today I, you know, woke up actually slept in a little because of our sick kid. Yeah. I just snuggled him a little bit longer. But after that, um, you know, got labels printed. And then I had already previous, like yesterday, I photographed, I think, 30 items. So I already had my drafts ready and I just typed out the 15 for today. Mm -hmm. They're already scheduled. I don't want to do anything else today if I don't want to. Um, I have enough to even schedule the next day out mm -hmm. already, but I'm still going to probably do these shoes after I pick up my son from school. Yep. Because these, you can tell most of them are like, don't need anything other than the number. So yeah. um, photographs take me a minute or so per item. The longest part of this is going to just be taking the numbers off the bottom. Yeah. And then Chris will bag them for me in the morning. Oh, or yeah. tonight if I have time. I'm probably going to try to work on the floor a little bit tonight. Yeah. I'd rather you do that. So <laughs> <laughs> I can bag my own shoes if you can work on the floor. Yep. Yeah, I'm excited to get our room done because I just like yeah. stuff so it'll be and in order it'll be right the last now, of, our bedroom furniture is in our living room yes so. i'd show you yeah. over the but we have our dressers out in yeah, our living it's room super awkward. <laughs> it's like i hope our our um older son has a new neighborhood friend and like yeah. they always play outside they don't usually he doesn't go in their house either but right. i'm like please don't let him in our house right now <laughs> can you wait like another week yeah so, anyways yeah yeah so that's what we've got going on in the office today 
So I think we're gonna cut the video here, guys. Kathy's gonna get working on some shoes. Actually, we're probably gonna take this stuff off of the post office and get Connor from school and all that stuff. But yeah, we got the storm coming in, so I think we have, we're in pretty good shape for uh, having work throughout the storm yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And it's, I don't even know, like, cause this happened, what, a couple years ago. They called it a bomb cyclone is what I think they call it. And that's, cause today it's a really nice day. It's like 50s right now, but tomorrow it's gonna be like 20 so whatever that that temperature drop in 24 hours they call it a bomb cyclone and last time it was pretty bad we live on a long stretch of road of woodman road if you guys know colorado springs we live out east of the springs and that road was uh just a sheet of ice and like tons of cars drove off the side of the road people were stuck out there for hours and it's not a good sight so i think people are super cautious now school's already closed so um, we're just gonna you know hunger down and get through the storm so anyway guys that is going to do it for today i do believe this video is going up thursday in which case we will be having a live stream tonight so don't forget to stick around and check us out at the live stream tonight 8 p.m colorado mountain time and it'll be fun i think we'll have we'll probably be live about an hour and a half and looking forward to see you guys there so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one